Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at a cheap spray booth. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me what to do about ventilation when airbrushing. And a lot of answers that I come back with is, well, you're probably gonna have to get a spray booth in this occasion. If you're spraying in an area where you don't have access to a window or close to the window and stuff like that, when you're base coating, when you're priming, fumes gonna get all over the place. You need some way to vent it. You could probably put a fan pointing out of the window and try to push it out, but sometimes that's just not feasible, especially if you're using enamel or lacquer type of paints. So, since spray roofs are really expensive, let's take a look at something that's cheap and we'll see if it actually works for you or for us. Okay guys, what we have here is the Hobby Spray Booth. That's what they call it, it's very generic, but uh, what you expect, uh, it's something that uh, sold by TCP Global. They have it on their site. You can find it on eBay as well. That's where I found it. And it's $50. So let's see why it's $50, okay? See if it works. First, let's just take a look at it. First of all, it comes with this main unit here. Okay, here's the fan. Okay, the fan's right here. And then the main uh, compartment unit here. Okay, and it's all made out of plastic, so that's why it is so you know, light, which is kind of a good thing. Okay, the extension, uh, the power cord comes out here, and you have the switch right here. Okay, so, we'll put that aside. We have the uh, specification sheet, which really isn't much of a specification sheet. It's really a parts list more than anything. So, um, yeah, whatever. We'll put that aside. Not much instructions uh, come about uh, telling you how to put it together, but it, you could figure it out. It's pretty easy. Comes with some um, extension pipes. Okay, so um, it comes with two. On the uh, website it says it's 15 inches, but I think it's a lot more than that. We're looking if we spread this out, pull it out. You're looking maybe about four feet, maybe three, three four feet. So if you need more, you probably have to go to Home Depot, grab something to extend it. This is the. Uh, part that extends out into the window, the exhaust uh, um, ending here. Stick it on here and you're ready and set to go. Okay, now it comes with two aprons. This is the bottom apron here. This is the top apron here. Okay, so what happens is you take this, and by the way, it comes with a pack of screws, and I'll tell you what that does in a bit. So just take it and you bend it up a bit where the full marks are. Okay, and this will become the bottom apron. Very simple, just like that. And this is the top apron. And what you do is pop it in like that. And there's these um, little, uh, little pylons or little plastic uh, pylons here that you just slide right in between the pylon and, and the frame. And this is what it basically looks like. Now the screw, what you do is you take these screws and you screw in the bottom uh, of the apron down here. And I'll show you why in a bit. So why don't we go ahead and I'll go ahead and uh, install those right now. So the spray booth comes with five screws. You only need three, they probably give you extra. And uh, what you do in here is uh, you screw it in here, here, and here. Now for me, the holes didn't really line up so I had to like kind of jerry rig it a little. Um, I finally got it in. The other thing to note is that the holes are plastic, so don't go Conan on them thinking that, you know, pounding in the screws is going to do you some good. It's not. You might strip it. Now, the thing is, is now once this is all put in, you put in the top apron here. You do some of this here. Pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty quick too. Assuming that you got, assuming that you're coordinated enough to do this, which I am not right now because it's pretty late. But there you go. Plug it in, make sure it goes in, and you got your spray booth ready to go. Okay. Now the reason why this screws in here in the bottom, okay, is that you take this out, fold it up. Okay, put it in here. Take these, hold on. Take these down, pull them out for you. You can just keep it in here like that. All right, and then you just push it in. And supposedly, if this is done up right, you put it into the slot here, 
and um, it's ready for storage and you're done you know ready for storage put it away stuff like that unfortunately the odd part is I probably put it in upside down so it's not reaching up all the way so I'm assuming that I went ahead and uh, installed these wrong uh, but anyways I could fix that later so there you have it that's what that works as and it's just stores in now the other thing let's take a note at is again the filter actually the filter uh, really chintzy stuff I don't think this is gonna really filter anything this looks like this foam that you get from uh, you know packaging or what have you so um, yeah that's not gonna really do much it's not gonna filter much at all I don't think so some of the fumes are gonna get into your motor all right, so let's take a look here. Let's turn this thing on and see how loud it is. Okay, remember my mics are amplified. So it is pretty silent from where I'm sitting at, okay? I don't know how much the uh, mics are picking up right now. All right, now, guys, smoking is bad for you, so I do not suggest it. I don't like smoking on camera usually, but this is the best way to test it. All right, so let's go ahead and switch the count. Hopefully you can see that. It is sucking. Pretty decent. Hopefully you guys can see that. Alright, so it does its job. Does it do it well enough? Alright, assuming that you are now granted now you really only need this if you're doing uh primary or base coat heavy you know spraying a lot of it um as long as you point it into the back here you should be okay now if you're really letting go if you're really letting loose i don't think this would pull much out um honestly in my opinion so there you guys have it um later on i will be going and purchasing the 80 dollars spray booth and we're going to take a look at that now is this spray booth worth it 50 dollars well you're looking at something cheap it's portable and it's light and it's actually kind of quiet. Okay, the problem is, does it suck enough? And that's always the question when it comes to spray boot. Does it suck enough? In my opinion, eh. You could probably get away with some light base coating, some light primering, but when you're starting to really, you know, cake up um, all the, the spray, it's just gonna get everywhere. Does it suck fast enough for something that big of a job? Uh, Simon says, I don't think so, but, it's worth giving it a try, and there's your review, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.